Hey Bears, I am the Gaming Chris Lee and welcome back to Identity 5 and it was just announced during the Call of the Abyss 5 Grand Finals that we will get an Identity 5 and Bungo Stray Dogs crossover. So I want to share my thoughts and ideas on which characters could get a skin during this event. This video will contain light spoilers for the Bungo Stray Dogs anime. Bungo Stray Dogs is about a very special detective agency because their members have supernatural powers and they deal with cases that are too dangerous for the police or the military. Starting with the main character of the show and therefore most likely the S tier skin, Atsushi Nakaima. He has the ability that is called Beast Beneath the Moonlight, which lets him turn into a tiger. There are several ideas that come to mind for this character. The first one would be the postman, whose dog turns into the white tiger. Then there may be a rather unpopular opinion, but this could be a crossover S tier skin for the wildling, whose boar could turn into the tiger. Or we could also see another prospector skin, like we saw during the Denkan Rompa crossover, since he could switch forms while he is carrying his magnets. Another character that could potentially receive the S tier skin is Dasai Osamu. His ability is to stop people from using their ability and it's called No Longer Human. In my opinion, the novelist could make a great character for Dasai skin, purely because the attire of both characters look quite similar. Doppo Kunikida's ability is called the Matchless Poet. Whatever he writes into his notebook can turn into life. For instance, if he writes key into a notebook, a key will be created. So this could be potentially a character skin for the lucky guy, who can also choose and wish what he wants from a chest. Or potentially the lawyer, since Doppo is carrying a notebook, just like, like Yagami from the Death Note crossover, who was also a skin for the lawyer. Ranpo Etogawa is the only person in the detective agency that actually doesn't have an ability, but he titles himself the greatest detective in the world, because he can solve murders within seconds. This could be a skin for the detective in the manor, like we saw it with the Detective Conan crossover, in which we had two skins for the detective, or for his younger counterpart, the survivor, the novelist, that could also receive the skin. The ability to heal people goes to Akiko Yusano. She is a member and personal physician of the detective agency. Thanks to her healing ability, that is called Thu Shall Not Die, she would make a great fit for two survivors. The first one obviously being the doctor, who can heal herself and teammates, and the second option would be the psychologist, who can also heal teammates with her ability. Another member of the detective agency is Kenji Miyazawa. His ability, Undefeated by the Rain, grants him superhuman strength, which allows him to pick up cars with ease. During the anime, we also saw him getting attacked in the back of his head with a lead pipe and suffered no damage whatsoever. This could be a great fit for the newest survivor, the Professor, who can prevent damage when being attacked with his skill. Yunichiro Tanizaki's ability is called Light Snow, which allows him to create illusions, which immediately makes this skin a great skin that we could expect for the magician. He could also be a fitting skin for the painter, who creates a painting that will distract the hunters, like an illusion from what is actually going on in the match. Izumi Kiyoka's ability, Demon Snow, allows her to materialize a female sword-wielding phantom, known as Demon Snow, which only follows orders coming from a mobile phone she always carries on her person. This definitely gives us options for two characters. The first one being the mechanic, whose controller could turn into the mobile phone and the doll into the Demon Snow. Or potentially the geisha, who has Izumi's form when she is not attacking and when she changes forms, she becomes the Demon Snow. But I think that might be a little unlikely since she is a member of the detective agency and she would most likely turn out to be a survivor. Now when it comes to hunters, we would have Ryunosuke Akutagawa with his ability Rashomon. This ability transforms his overcoat into a dark monster capable of cutting through anything, even space itself. This reminds me a little bit of Nightmare, who has the claw ability and jumps after survivors quickly, trying to cut them. Or potentially the Feaster, whose tentacles could turn into the dark monster. But I almost feel like that's a little bit unlikely, even if I would love to see the Feaster getting a crossover skin. 
Of course, we could also see the Ripper as Ryunosuke and his foggy blade could resemble the dark monster. Overall, there are a lot of options when it comes to skins for this crossover and we might potentially see two parts like we saw before with the Danganronpa or the Persona 5 crossovers. What are your thoughts about the upcoming Stray Dogs crossover and which characters would you want to see in Identity 5? Let us know in the comment section below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a fat like and if you are new to the channel, subscribe to The Gaming Grizzly. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!